Does yoga cause shoulder pain? This video is primarily for people who are interested in doing yoga, but are concerned whether or not it will cause shoulder pain. Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to Manflow Yoga. By the end of this video, you'll know whether or not yoga causes shoulder pain, and I'm going to give you specific advice to help you approach yoga safely in a way that does not cause shoulder pain. I'll tell you what to do to prevent shoulder pain from happening while doing yoga, and also you'll understand key technique points to help you avoid shoulder injury or pain when practicing yoga. Before I get started, I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out when we release new videos or workouts. Also, be sure to hit the bell button. That way you receive notifications whenever a new video is released. I also have a quick question for you. Have you done yoga before? And if so, have you experienced shoulder pain or discomfort as a result of yoga? Let me know in the comments below. All right, now let's get back to the question. Does yoga cause shoulder pain? The answer is possibly, and it depends on four things. Number one, if you are using proper technique. So you have to be using proper technique to avoid shoulder pain. Number two, if you are currently injured. So we want to avoid certain exercises if you're currently injured. Number three, you want to use appropriate modifications or progressions to make sure that you're doing it properly for your fitness level. And then number four, do you have the proper scapular stability? So this comes down to proper technique and strength in your upper back. Let's talk about that first part. So proper technique is incredibly important. And even though you'll hear some yoga gurus talk about yoga uh, in a way that says it's as harmless as mother's milk, uh, it can be harmful if you are not paying enough attention to your technique. So when you're practicing yoga, there are a few things that you should be aware of. You wanna know what muscles you're targeting. You wanna know what you should be feeling in your body. You wanna know the proper technique points for each part of your body. And you also wanna know uh, what you should be doing to avoid certain or common mistakes that you should be avoiding. And if you're not getting that from your current yoga source, if that's a yoga instructor in person or online, I would recommend seeking out a yoga resource that is more fitness focused, either an online instructor, a program, or a book to make sure you know that information. The second part is if you are currently injured. So a very common injury is rotator cuff strains or tears. And if you have pain lifting your arm overhead or putting on a shirt, that's indicative of rotator cuff, um, rotator cuff issues. And for you, you probably want to avoid motions where you're lifting your arms overhead or doing weight bearing exercises with your upper bodies. So things like down dog, dolphin, a plank, those are not going to be good for you if you currently have a shoulder injury and you'll want to avoid that. Number three, you wanna make sure that you're using the proper modifications or progressions. So if you are new to yoga, if you don't have a high level of fitness uh, or you know, whatever the case might be, you wanna make sure that you're doing yoga in a way that's appropriate for your flexibility and your strength levels. So that means that you could use a wall in some instances, it might mean that you bend your arms or use a strap or you use blocks, but you wanna be sure that you're doing the proper modifications for your current fitness level. And if you're not getting that, again, from your current yoga instructor, or you don't know what those modifications are, you're going to want to seek out a yoga resource that can help you with that. And then lastly, you wanna make sure that you have the necessary strength or scapular stability in your upper back. Now, practicing yoga on your own with proper technique will help to reinforce uh, proper scapular stability, but you need to do specific strengthening exercises to address that. So these are exercises that you would experience kind of when you're doing physical therapy or other body weight exercises uh, that help to specifically address scapular stability. Um, so you'll wanna find those exercises and make sure that you have that awareness and that strength in your upper back in order to practice yoga safely. So to sum it up, the answer to the question, does yoga cause shoulder pain is no, but only if you're following these four criteria. Number one, you're using proper technique. 
Number two, you aren't currently injured in your shoulders. Number three, you're doing yoga in a way that makes sense for your fitness level with the necessary progressions and modifications. And number four, you have the necessary strength and awareness and your scapular stabilizing muscles in your upper back. If you're looking for a program that comprehensively addresses all of these things, be sure to check out Bulletproof Your Shoulders. This is a brand new program just released on my website. You can get access when you join the Manful Yoga members area. Learn more at manfulyoga.com slash join. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We put out tons of useful videos on a regular basis, all with the goal of helping you improve your fitness and get stronger with yoga. Hit the bell button to make sure you know as soon as a new video is released. If you like this video, be sure to like it, uh, leave a comment, answer that question I asked at the beginning. Do you currently have shoulder pain? Is it caused by yoga? Let me know. Uh, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon.